This is a photo from the Remedy single cover and or it's inside the, the booklet of the Waiting for My Rocket to Come album. It best represents what my life was like back then. This would be 2002 when I was first introduced to the competitive nature of the industry and the go, go, go hustle and all the demands that come from putting music out. But I was having a good time back then. Amazing. Wow. I knew when we were, this was maybe the second Bonnaroo and we were given a heads up that uh, it's gonna be very muddy. So I went to um, wherever, I don't know, I remember you can get, there's stores like a Payless Shoes or something where you can get shoes for like $2, right? So I got some $2 shoes, knowing they were gonna get muddy, I got some fresh white socks. And I kind of thought it'd be funny to, to wear clean, fresh whites at a place where everybody was gonna be muddy. I have no idea what's going on in this picture, but this is sort of a typical green room at a festival where anybody could be in there and clearly am in there with Andrew WK and Run DMC. Uh, an unlikely mashup. This looks like a sitcom waiting to happen right here and we're celebrating our third season going into it. So this is 2009 when I won the Hal David Starlight Award, which is a Songwriters Hall of Fame award for writers who are too young to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. You have to have at least 20 years of releasing music to be eligible. I, don't, I still don't have that. But I was honored to be honored. Uh, Rob Thomas honored me, because he also was an award winner of that same niche. Uh, John Bon Jovi was being inducted that night. Uh, the Songwriters Hall of Fame is cool because it's songwriters acknowledging each other and talking about the mysticism and beauty of songwriting. When really, it's three guys who never wanted to have jobs, basically were bums, but we figured out if we make some stuff up and entertain you, then maybe we can pay our bills with that. Uh, Polaroid by the enamorable Cassia Matter. This is a picture within a picture because I bought an old school camera, film camera from Cass Metter. And when she brought it over, she was showing me how to use it. So she took my picture out in the grove. So I grabbed some avocados, made a lewd gesture. She took the picture. And then I think the picture was hanging on our fridge for a while. It fell off, it went under the fridge. When I pulled it out years later, I was cleaning. Uh, I found the picture. And by then, Instagram had been invented. So I snapped a picture of the picture and posted on Instagram. That's the technical background. This picture still hangs on our family wall. It's one of my wife's favorite pictures. And uh, our avocados have gotten bigger. Hey, look at that. My favorite artist named David Shrigley hand drew everything from this album. Uh, he is a fine artist, but looks like he doodled it while on the telephone. And uh, I reached out to him, I said, hey, because he actually had uh, the phrase, we sing and we dance and we steal things in one of his work pieces. I said, I'd really love to use that as a title. He said, sure, go for it. And then I wrote him back, I said, would you mind drawing a picture of me as well? He said, well, it's not gonna be very good. I said, perfect. And he submitted many, many drawings. And then the art department at Atlantic sort of took his lead and his style and of course added the microphone and other little icons. But uh, I was very, very blessed to get to know him through that process and, and uh, be connected to the childlike nature of songwriting and art in general. The rest of the world just wants us to grow up so fast and wear suits, but art reminds us that we're, we can be children the rest of our lives if we want to. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.